Hello there guys, Gontaris here, bringing you another Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys who drops captured nightmares, what farming route you should take, and what difficulty you should be farming on. So let's get started. Alright then, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this section today, just because um, I'm going to be repeating most of this information in the next section. Uh, and that is because there's only two mobs which drop the captured nightmares and they're both spawned in the Silver Spire level 2. Uh, so the first mob is called Grim Knight the Soulless and the second mob is called Hores. Um, they're both purple elites and they can both be bounties. So without further ado, let me show you the old route to take to find them. Alright then guys, so uh, here we are in the Silver Spire level 2, um, as you can see on the right hand side I've got uh, Grim Knight the Soulless already unlocked as a bounty and that's actually what I recommend. So I'm just going to speed up this run here because I do get a bit lost, but um, Horez and Grim Knight the Soulless uh, as mentioned in the previous section could both be bounties and so I recommend you get into the lobby and just keep logging in, logging out until you can see that you've got that bounty because they they seem to be extremely rare spawns um, just kind of by themselves uh, so much so that I haven't seen them although other people say they have uh, so there you have it, I've just killed Grim Knight the, uh, the Soulless I'm just going to quickly kill these extra mobs because I don't want to die um, but there you have it, he's dropped a captured nightmare straight away this is actually my first time it, it took a few uh, log in log outs to actually get the bounty but this is actually my first time killing him so it's just as high a chance as anything to drop and there you have it, a captured nightmare Alright then guys, so as of patch 2.0.4 the chances to get rare materials has been greatly increased and I'm very thankful for this because before this patch I could have killed a boss 15 times and not have seen a single piece of loot and so you know it's a godsend and the reason for that being was um, Torment 6 used to be a 25% chance to get a rare material and so when you consider all the difficulties before that you just had no chance I think normal was like 5% and so, yeah, you just weren't seeing any rare materials at all. Um, so, normal difficulty now, after the patch, is 15% chance. And when you consider that's only 10% behind what it used to be at Torment 6, that is a huge increase. Huge! Um, hard difficulty is 18%. Expert is 21%. Master difficulty is 25% and Master is what I would recommend you farm on. No no doubt in my mind at all, Master is the one. Um, it helps if you've, you know, you need to have obviously be level 70 and you need to have at the very least made sure you've got good yellow gear. Good yellow gear. And you know, you can do that within an hour or two of, of playing after level 70. So, you know, most of you should at least have good yellow gear and if so, Master is the difficulty for you. You, you can kill the mobs very quickly and 25% uh, quarter of the time you're getting the mat. Um, Torment 1 is a 31% chance to get your materials. Torment 2 is 37. Torment 3 is 44%. Torment 4 is 53% and Torment 5 is 64% and finally Torment 6 is 77% um, so you know Torment 6 you're pretty much guaranteed to get a drop if, if you're blessed enough to be in Torment 6 though you know you're not going to need materials because you are kitted as fuck so <laughs> you know it, it kind of defeats the purpose of getting it that regularly but I suppose um, you know you can share the materials around your other characters so it does help you level up uh, alts so um, yeah I've been Krintaris this has been a how to farm uh, materials in Diablo 3 video if you found it helpful please give it a like and if you would like to see more as I release them regularly uh, please subscribe and I'll see you next time guys goodbye